Firstly, congratulations, Nikki. Thank this you. is what an Emmy Award looks like in the flesh. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's very gorgeous. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank and like you. we say, this was this was for my life born to vlog. Yes. Um, and uh, it's just a very honest account of, of what life is like for you on a day to day basis. Yeah. And it was the honesty I think that people just really related to. Yeah. Do you feel like that yourself now, having done it, having won the award, the message is out there? Yeah, I definitely think um, that the message is out there, even more than it was when we first posted um, Born to Vlog, because, you know, everyone has bad days, every single person, and I think it's really important, you know, I'm someone that has a following, and I think it's really important to use my following for good, and, you know, I do have bad days, and I think it's really important to share when I'm having a bad day, because everyone can relate to that and I think it's really important to show that side because some people can feel really alone and isolated in this world especially on a bad day and so just when more people start showing their bad days everyone can come together and you feel a lot less alone and can be there for one another. And I suppose it's almost a form of therapy for yourself Definitely. isn't it just being able to voice how you're feeling in that moment. Definitely whatever way you can you know get your feelings out and speak your mind I think is really important. Yeah well you're very very familiar with the cameras <laughs> that is for yeah. sure. And, well, just, we're just looking at some of the names that you've interviewed so far the Prime Minister. It was the most amazing experience because never did I ever think I'd be sitting in 10 Downing Street in her office talking about what she was like as a child. I mean, it's probably not an interview that she's ever had before. And it was really interesting to just see her perspective on life as a teenager, as a 14 year old. And I got to learn so much more about her that people who actually don't know, but may actually wonder. Yeah. And it's not as much based on politics. And it was really interesting. It's much more real, really nice. actually, yeah, when we're talking exactly. to you. Baking is also a huge part of your interviews, in fact. Yeah. You, you, you bake scones for Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. And that's, I think, it's such a, a great idea, that, because it's a very bonding thing, isn't it? Well, food Definitely. is full stop, really. Yeah. But you really love baking. And again, you've sort of, you kind of put baking down as one of those things that's helped you over 100%. the years. 100%. It's my form of escapism, along with other things. I love the element of bringing people together and just being together um, and when people enjoy obviously what I make is a plus um, and so um, I went on Junior Bake Off and won that in 2016 which is part of Born to Vlog um, and so we thought to make that part of the Nikki Lily meets would be so fun but yeah baking is such a saving grace for me um, and you don't think that baking would help someone with their mental health and just in the in bad times as much as it does but it's such a great form of therapy yeah it's soothing isn't it really soothing, is soothing i can really and then the eating of it what's yeah. not to like i mean the cleaning up is not as soothing <laughs> but the rest of it is it's exactly that do you find it difficult to come up with new ideas all of the time because i guess you have oh, so many followers yeah. just waiting for your next yeah. vlog is it difficult it's definitely hard especially to be original um I'm quite a creative person, so sometimes I do find it easier than maybe other people. But I always get inspiration from, you know, other vloggers and then I'll take my own twist on a video that they've done. Um, or I'll ask my viewers because they're great at telling me what they want to see. Um, and it's also good for future reference. Mm -hmm. You know, I like making lists on my phone of videos I'd like to do. Um, but I also think it's a right to just try something new that no one's ever done before. So. Um, I don't really do like one kind of genre. I love doing, you know, singing videos, baking videos, makeup videos, lifestyle videos, updates on my health. And so I never really get bored. And I think that's what's nice about um, my content. And that's what's nice to my viewers is that they don't really know what to expect yeah. and so it keeps it fresh yeah all the time, exactly it? and then it's less hard to think of ideas yeah because it's always something new so. well also Nick, you just mentioned your health and how are you doing now because i know last yeah. year was a bit tough are you are you doing better now you're feeling okay um, i am doing better last year was very difficult um i ended up in intensive care in june and it's been rocky um but I'm in a much better place than I was and I'm very lucky because it was touch and go in June and I'm just, I think it's really important. That really taught me to make sure to live in the moment and appreciate every single thing you have and every second of your life because you never know what's gonna happen on a minute to minute or day to day basis. And so 
I think it's really important to not sweat the little things and just enjoy life as much as you can. It's a message for everybody, isn't it? Well, yeah. I was I was going to lift that over to you, but I'm not going to touch it just in case. I'll <laughs> leave it. And, okay, it's a remarkable, beautiful Thank thing. You. Yeah, I will never have one sitting on my mantelpiece. So, I'll let you take a picture with <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. well deserved, and it's oh, great to see you. You, Thank, you. Thank you very much.